this afternoon. If anyone doesn't know what this is, this is my 2000 BT Commodore um, L67 Supercharged V6. Um, makes currently about 580 horsepower at the wheels. This is the heavy G tensioner here uh, for Big M. As you can see, that's made out of 12 mil thick alley plate and 25 mil alley rod. Um, being that it is not cast at all, means it won't flake and break like the standard tensioner here. As you can see, nice and close. Um, so the idea is is just give extra tension on the belt and get um, to get that belt up because we've only got an 8 pk belt. Don't have a 10 rib balancer. No one makes a 10 rib balancer. Um, wish we did have a 10 rib balancer. Therefore, I wouldn't have to go to such extremes to get all the tension. But um, there is a, a guide to there is a limit on how much tension you can have. Um, because the pulleys are so close, there is a risk of with this big tensioner damaging it because there's not enough area for the belt to stretch between pulleys um, to give to take that grip. So I am running the risk of damaging pulleys using a heavy duty tensioner, um, but it's needed to obviously spin. Even trying to spin a 61 mil pulley um, without a 10 pk belt, there's no way. Uh, the standard tension just does not have enough torque to pull back. So, over the different designs, they all start off with different material. But start off. This is now the eighth, eighth version. So let's start off with trying to put little MDF pieces together, make them all line up in the car. Once we, once I've seen, seems that it clears everything, then I can actually translate that onto, a, onto, um, onto some alley. So sit back and just watch the different videos of how I did it. Whilst having Sean's car here, I was able to use it as a guide on how the templates lined up. So from making bolts right, by hand to seeing how the belt wraps around the um, pulleys gave a fair idea of how it was going to fit in the engine bay without having to rip intercooler pipes out and everything like in Big Ev. Taking the measurements from the standard tension we now put it into Illustrator where it then gets printed out onto a MDF sheet using a laser cutter machine. Drawing little dots in the middle can allows me to set a punch it once it gets transferred onto the aluminium sheet. So, holes all drilled out. Now we're going to put it for the bandsaw and cut it out. And there we go. Two off cuts. Now just bolt it up and make sure it all works. 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19. 19. And we just chop it off. Don't have a cut, a cut off bit, but this will do.
done. One of the best handy tools to purchase was the gates uh, bolt alignment tool which then allowed me to then line up all the pulleys exactly where they should be and how to get the right heights for each pulley sitting on different offsets as well. So what we're going to do today is try to find out the height difference of the pulleys and make sure they line up. So with my laser light, so I need to bring a harmonic balancer up two mil to make sure the line, the, the bottom pulley is all in line, then we can check the top one. So with some sheets of paper, it's now in line. So now we can check with the pulley above. All right. So now the pulley above is still too high, so we need to shave it down that distance there. One and a half, one and a half mil. Sorry, that button. Cool. Now we only have to go 1.5 mil. Huzzah, dead on. Took about 10 passes. I think, much as I tried to tighten this in the chuck, kept slipping so my wire kept moving all the time but now perfect and now oh, I picked up some uh, nice new bolts from the uh, fastener shop today much better than my uh, piece of welded on nut on the end of a rod tapped out just thing anyway so using that as my measurement now I can cut and tap the next bit of thread. Oh, there it is, all put together. Now, because of this massive water air intercooler, all this has got to go in with the bolts all in as one. hate when the pulley just doesn't want to get in so because of this massive tension now this pipe this pipe here the hell can I get my hands down of that AC Came fat arm can't even get in there anymore Whee! all right so what we'll do um, the closest thing I have to string at the moment is actually this ratchet strap which is fine because because it's flat wide it'll kind of like represent a belt and it's definitely long enough to do it, get a measurement now it's all made up I can measure it up so there's the mark so from there all the way down to there is how long my belt needs to be so I'll measure it up and We'll give our mates, my mate Bobo a call and we'll get a new belt. All right, so, with it stretched out, 2045. So APK 2045 is what I need. So that should be on the mark there, yep. Well, the belt's arrived, APK2045, which is what we were after. I also found a small pulley. So this is a 74 mil. I machined the back down a bit, so it actually now clears the seven time belt. So that will now go on there, and that will give us a lot more clearance to play with. we go. All on. 
is really a pain in the ass to get a belt down there. But everything's on, everything clears. Very, very tight. But it's on. So what's gonna happen is, being a brand new belt, um, it's not really stretched to its full potential yet. So turn it on and as the tensioner comes over, stretches the belt, I'll um, tighten this up more so it gets closer and closer. That gets more belt wrap around here. Um, and we'll go from there. Well, happy with that. So as you can see, tensioner has now come a lot further back. So I can now tighten that to that, that to that. 61 mil pulley on a 2.4 liter Whipple. Big air tensioner, which is out of a 6.4 7 litre Cummins diesel engine, 8 rib uh, system. So if that doesn't hold, 61 can never be done. I, unless I go 10 rib or something like that. But testing tomorrow. So looking at the logs from the past on the left and the new one just taken on the right, you can see that the boost does stay very more flat compared to where it fell off before. Um, as well as I see more boost now than I ever have, so the tensioner is definitely working. But only one way to find out is to throw it on the dyno and actually make some power. Want to learn about more about my car? Go to my thread. Oh, crikey! We got a big blue snake! Oh, yeah.